one of the most massive and massively simple wealth building investing habits that I've come across in 20 plus years of investing, wealth building, real estate and beyond that almost every wealthy person I know has this habit. Outside of those people, almost nobody has this habit. It's mind blowing. It's so freaking frustrating to me because it's so, so simple. And the habit is keeping an eye on the value of all of your assets. In this video, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into your primary home. It is absolutely one of your assets. Now, you could go down the Robert Kiyosaki trail. If you don't know who I'm talking about, he's the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and he would define an asset as only something that regularly puts money into your pocket. If it requires money to come out of your pocket, that's a liability. So he would categorize your house, your home, even if it's the one you live in, as a liability because you pay a mortgage or you pay taxes or you pay maintenance expenses on it. That's fine. I'm not even angry about that definition. What I want you to do though is to think about, as you think about building wealth, buying assets, uh, accumulating equity and value, I want you to think about your home very similarly to how you think about your stock portfolio or your retirement accounts or even your investment properties. But what if I'm not moving? So it's a fair question. Now, there's a hundred different ways you can use this information. Let me, let me just say the key habit is knowing the value of your assets. Let's, for this video, let's say knowing the value of your home. Now, I'm a real estate broker in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm not necessarily trying to help you buy or sell a house. If you're in the area and you need help, we would love to help you do that and think bigger than most agents do. But we have a tool. You can use it right now, valuethishouse.com. It's a website. You can go very quickly, within one minute, find out the value of your house. The question is, if you can do that, if you can find out within pretty decent accuracy the value of your home in one minute, and you can get updates every single month, why would you not do that? People watch the news or have a stock ticker on their phone and check the value of the stock market, the market, every single day. Is the Dow Jones up or down? Is the S&P up or down? Is my retirement portfolio up or down? They get a statement required to be provided from Fidelity or Vanguard or whoever every single month because they know it's responsible for me to know the value of that, at least on a monthly basis. But people don't do that on their home and they don't do it because of the question I just got. Well, I'm not planning to sell it, so why should I care? And the answers are many. Let me just give you a couple. If you knew right now that the value of your home was up $200,000 over last year or five years ago, you might think about how you interact financially in other areas. Like, would you use a credit card with 18% interest to buy anything? Or would you hold a balance for anything if you knew you had hundreds of thousands of dollars of newfound equity in your home? If you could borrow against that, I'm not saying you should constantly be borrowing and tapping into your equity, this is just one example. Would you borrow against your home equity at 5%, 7%, even nine or 10% versus 17 or 18 or 19% rapidly compounding interest on a credit card or on short-term debt for a vehicle? Uh, or how would you handle student loans and lots of other things. I'm not necessarily telling you how to handle any of those things, but you might think about it very differently if you had the potential to have really safe, secure access to huge amounts of cash. This isn't true for everybody, but if it was true, would you think differently? And by all means, you should think differently about taking on any other debt or taking on any other significant expenses or having any other financial idea impact how you think long-term or short-term about your whole picture of wealth building or creating safety and security, would it be wise to do that without, with, while carving out this huge piece of your financial life? No, it would not be wise to do that. But so many people do it. They do not have the habit of keeping an eye on that ticker value of their real estate the same way they do the ticker value of their real estate, I mean, of their stock investments or their bond investments or their 401k or their kids' education savings that's tied to the market and things like that. I'm literally simply telling you to add the habit of knowing the value of your home or homes the same way you know the value of these other investments. And if you do, it can lead to some really, really incredible things. There's way better tax benefits, borrowing opportunities, and sleep at night if you know this information versus not knowing this information. 
Now, a lot of people are gonna say, I don't care, I don't need to know that until I'm gonna sell it, or I'm gonna buy another one, or I'm gonna refinance it. What I'm telling you is one minute a month would give you another really important data point to thinking about your whole wealth building picture. How many, how many assets, how many liabilities, how much equity, how much cash flow, how much value, how much borrowing ability. If you had this unbelievable opportunity over here and you did know the value of this, what moves could you make to go capture that massive opportunity? If you didn't know this, how much more limited are you? Let me answer that for you. A lot more limited because you may not really understand what selling this at a different timeline than you originally thought could lead to. You could sell the home that you love, sell the home that you didn't know how much equity you have and potentially get into a home that you never knew you could even possibly achieve or buy investment property or buy more stocks or bonds or hold some more cash in a situation where that would be helpful or be able to solve a problem that you didn't know you could solve for yourself or someone else or be more generous giver. The fact is, if you don't know, then you don't know about all these opportunities. If you do know, you have way more information and opportunity to capture opportunities, to alleviate problems, to have impact, or just to sleep a little bit better at night. At, the, at some point, you're gonna finish this video and be like, all that dude said was to know the value of my home. What I'm trying to help you see and want is what that information can help you do out in the rest of the world. Be a better mom, dad, husband, wife, employee, employer, investor, giver, and, and have more peace and comfort in your current situation. Most of that, is tied to the building of your wealth and the providing of security for yourself and others. It's just crazy not to do that. So as often as you think, I'm gonna go check the market today, you might wanna think about checking the value of your properties. Again, if you're in Dallas, Fort Worth area, we have a tool you can do that for free. Go to valuethishouse.com. If you're not in our area, a full-time, fully dedicated, trusted real estate advisor that is that does this all day, every day, whether it's residential or commercial, can help you do that probably on a monthly basis, quarterly minimum. You've got to know at least every 90 days. And the numbers do change. A lot of people think that's what my house is worth. It's always going to go up. Not true. That's what my house is worth. It doesn't change that often. Not true. These things move all the time. The city puts in a dump. They build a Walmart. They change the water main. Your neighbor gets a dog. The other neighbor's house burns down. Residential, commercial, industrial, these things are true. You need to know your property value, but especially your home where you and your family and your friends eat, sleep, play, and rest, and all those things. It's absolutely important mathematically and psychologically to how you build wealth and create the life you want to live. So at the core, all I've said is know your property value on a regular basis. I would say at least monthly, quarterly at a minimum. But I've also said, if you know that, then you're probably gonna see more and be able to take advantage of more opportunities create more safety and security and experience the benefits of that safety and security and enjoy your life more. So if you add this one habit to your wealth building in your life, it will go well for you. If you're in the DFW area, we can help. My information's below. Comment below, let me know what I missed. What are the other big keystone foundational habits you have around wealth building that you don't see others have? We'll share them together. We'll all build wealth and safety and security together.